stop supplying leap engines? U.S. companies regard C919 aviation as their a trump card, but unexpectedly China has changed lanes to overtake. In this video, let us learn more about it. Comac launched a new variant of the C919 commercial aircraft at the 2023 Shanghai International Commercial Air Show to meet the needs of different markets. The C919 is China's most modern passenger aircraft designed independently and aims to compete with single-aisle aircraft from Airbus and Boeing. Currently, the C919 has received 815 orders, mainly from Chinese airlines and leasing companies. The standard model of C919 can carry 168 passengers and has a range of 4,075 kilometers. According to Comac, the two newly launched derivative models will have different performances and features. The shortened or plateau version of the C919 is designed for operations at high-altitude airports. It can carry 140 passengers in a two-class layout and has a range of 3,000 kilometers. The fuselage length of this model is approximately 34 meters, which is 3.6 meters shorter than the standard model. The wings and engines remain unchanged. Comac stated that the shortened or plateau version of the C919 can meet the transportation needs of the western region, is suitable for taking off and landing at airports in plateau areas, and has strong plateau adaptability and economy. On the other hand, the C919 extended version is designed for operations in the mid- to long-range market. It can carry 210 passengers in a two-class layout and has a range of 4,500 kilometers. The fuselage length of this model is about 45 meters, which is 7.4 meters longer than the standard model. The wings and engines have also been improved accordingly. Comac stated that the C919 extended version can meet the operational needs between major cities in China and the Asia-Pacific region and has high transportation efficiency and economy. The launch of this series of modifications has added more flexibility and applicability to the market application of C919 and further enhanced the competitiveness of COMAC in the global aviation market. COMAC has not disclosed the specific development progress and delivery time of C919 derivatives, but stated that it will gradually advance the development of C919 derivatives based on market demand and technical conditions. Currently, the C919 standard model is still undergoing flight testing and certification. The first aircraft was delivered to China Eastern Airlines in May 2023 and has completed operational verification on more than 100 routes. The second aircraft will be delivered to China Eastern Airlines in October 2023 and is currently operating on the route. Although the specific dimensions have not been announced, it is estimated that the C919 Plateau version is about 34 meters long, while the C919 extended version is about 45 meters long. These dimensions are similar to the Airbus A320neo series, which provided inspiration for Comac. Images and models released at the event showed that the smaller C919 has only a single emergency window in the center of the fuselage, while the longer C919 adds a third door at the rear of the aircraft. Comac also did not predict what stage these studies would be at, but given China's ambition to become self-sufficient in this area, the commercial launch of a commercial jet series is a natural step. In the global aviation industry, China's C919 large passenger aircraft represents a new breakthrough and challenge. In recent years, the rapid development of China's aviation industry has not only rewritten the competitive landscape 
of the international aviation market, but also triggered a series of geopolitical reactions. Especially in the context of increasingly intensified economic and technological competition between China and the United States, the C-919 project is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a manifestation of strategic significance. According to U.S. media reports, Boeing has not received any more orders from China since 2018. This change has undoubtedly had a huge impact on Boeing and even the U.S. aviation industry. In this game of the international aviation market, the role and impact of the C-919 are particularly eye-catching. Therefore, China has aroused the dissatisfaction of most U.S. officials since it did not buy Boeing aircraft. Some American media broke the news that even if the United States pays $80 billion in liquidated damages, it will still stop production of China's C-919 aviation leap engine. We all know that although the C-919 is China's first large aircraft with independent property rights, this does not mean that it has been 100% domestically produced. Of course, it is impossible to achieve 100% domestic production of civil aviation passenger aircraft. Even Boeing and Airbus aircraft cannot achieve 100% domestic production. Even their domestic production percentage is not as high as that of the C919. Therefore, it is inevitable that the United States and Western countries will use key parts and components to choke China. From a technical perspective, although the C919 relies on international cooperation for some core technologies, the level of independent innovation and localization in its research and development process has demonstrated the huge potential of the Chinese aviation industry. At the geopolitical level, the advancement and success of the C-919 project has directly touched the core interests of the U.S. aviation industry. As the leader of the U.S. aviation industry, Boeing's failure in the Chinese market not only affects the company's financial performance, but also serves as a warning to the global competitiveness of the U.S. aviation industry. The information revealed by the U.S. media that the United States may use the suspension of leap engine supply as a bargaining chip to force China to purchase Boeing aircraft highlights the intensity of this technological and market competition. The core competitiveness of the C-919 is not only reflected in its technological progress, but also in the overall strength of the Chinese aviation industry represented behind it. The success of the C-919 represents a major leap forward for China in the field of high-end manufacturing. It also marks the transformation of China's role in the global aviation market from a traditional market participant to a competitor and rulemaker. Although the C-919 relied on international cooperation in the early stages of development, such as using the leap engine from General Electric of the United States, China has been actively promoting the research and development of its own engine, the Yangtze River engine. The Yangtze River engine has always been regarded by China as the most suitable aero engine for the C-919, and its fit is even more suitable than China's carefully selected leap engine. It is just that China has to consider the issue of obtaining international airworthiness certificates for its C-919 aircraft as soon as possible in the future, so it uses LEAP, an aerospace engine that has passed international airworthiness standards. Therefore, China has already achieved lane changing and overtaking. This is not only an effective response to the potential technological blockade of the United States, but also a reflection of China's aviation industry's independent innovation capabilities. The U.S.'s attitude and actions toward the C-919 project, such as the rumored remote control of engines or the suspension of engine supply, 
reflect the intensified competition between China and the United States in the high-tech field. However, it is worth noting that these actions have not hindered the progress of the C919 project. Instead, they have inspired China's determination to accelerate independent innovation and breakthroughs in core technologies. Faced with the United States' technology suppression and market strategies, China's response strategies are diversified. On the one hand, it reduces dependence on external key technologies by accelerating the research and development of independent engines. On the other hand, the huge potential of China's aviation market and globalization strategy also provides space for cooperation with other countries and companies. In the end, the U.S. strategy failed to fundamentally change the development path of China's aviation industry. On the contrary, the successful case of C919 has strengthened China's voice in the global aviation market and also provided new thinking for Sino-U.S. competition and cooperation in the high-tech field. The C919 project is not only the birth of an aircraft, but also a symbol of an era. It marks the rise of China in global high-end manufacturing and the transformation of its role in the international aviation market. In this game between the Chinese and American aviation industries, the C919 not only demonstrates China's technological strength, but also demonstrates the importance of diversified cooperation in the context of globalization. In the future, the development of China's aviation industry will continue to seek new breakthroughs in technological innovation and international cooperation and contribute to the diversified development of the global aviation market. The success story of C919 is not only a story about technological breakthroughs, but also a story about strategic vision and international cooperation. It demonstrates China's new role in the aviation industry no longer just a player in the market, but a leader in technological innovation and industrial development. As competition in the global aviation industry becomes increasingly fierce, the story of the C919 provides valuable experience on how to maintain competitiveness and autonomy in a complex international environment. China's persistence and resilience in the C919 project has provided important inspiration for other countries in the world in pursuing technological independence and industrial upgrading. In the face of external pressure and challenges, China not only did not give up or give in, but redoubled its efforts and accelerated the pace of independent innovation. This spirit is worth learning from the global industry. The story of C919 also reminds us that future industrial competition will be more based on technological innovation and international cooperation. In today's globalized world, no country can accomplish all technological breakthroughs and industrial development independently. Therefore, building an open, cooperative and win-win international environment is crucial to the industrial development of any country. The R&D and operation of the C919 will have a profound impact not only on China's aviation industry, but also on the global aviation market. It is not only a milestone for manufacturing in China, but also the beginning of a new situation of cooperation and competition in the global aviation industry. As the C919 continues to rise in the international aviation market, we have reason to believe that the sky will be more diverse in the future and the development of aviation technology will be more exciting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.